Hello everyone, welcome back, and I have about 10 minutes left, or 10 minutes to go, and I will, uh, keep going. Cloud never came. Cloud, think he was killed? No way. Cloud. Knock, 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 knock. No. Say, do you think Cloud's gonna stay and fight for Avalanche? How the hell should I know? Do I look like a mind reader? Y'all want to such screw ups? Hey, Barrett, what about our money? Er, nothing. Sorry. Was that nice? What was that nice? Holy shit! Oh my god, Cloud! Didn't see that coming. Cloud! Hmm, looks like I'm a little late. You're damn right you were late! Come waltzing in here making a big scene. It's no big scene, just what I always do. Fuck. Having everybody worried like that, you shouldn't give a damn about no one but yourself. You don't give a damn about nobody but yourself. Ah, I suck at freaking commentary. Uh, hmm, you were worried about me? What? That's coming out of your share, hotshot. Wake up. We're moving out. Follow me. Mr. Tifu. Hey, Cloud. You were great back there. Yeah. <laughs> Cloud, we'll do even better next time. Careful, I'll shut this. Oh, Cloud, your face is pitch black. Yeah, that, that doesn't look right at all. There you go. Say, thanks for helping me back at the reactor. Jump. And at this point on, I am not going to be reading much of the story at all. Okie doke. If you want to read it, you can pause it. I, I don't want to waste any, any more time than I have already wasted. I have a tendency to read through everything. <laughs> I'm just gonna kind of rush through the story. This is why I hate the last train. Who boy! Let's get moving. You talk to this guy. This is my house, so make yourselves at home. Don't bother talking to any of them yet. Just walk up to Jesse. Yeah, yeah, I made guard rail system. This isn't very interesting. Doesn't have any advancement on the plot. Just ignore it, basically. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we, we totally don't look suspicious at all. I, I would never guess that a chick wearing a bandana, a fat dude and, like, freaking cross belt body straps, uh, and freaking some big black dude with a gun on his arm. No, we're not suspicious at all. Oh, and the guy with the big sword, don't forget about him.
If this place weren't there, we could see the sky. A floating city. Pretty unsettling scenery. Huh? Never expected to hear that out of someone like you. Nah. You're just full of surprises. Yeah, I tend to be that way, Barrett. You have a world of the city on a plate. It's because that impedes the, that the people down underneath are suffering. The city below is full of polluted air. On top of that, the reactors keep draining all the energy. Then why doesn't everybody move on to the plate? Dunno, probably because they ain't got no money, or maybe. Because they love their land no matter how polluted it gets. I know. No one lives in the slums because they want to. It's like this train. It can't run anywhere except where it, it takes. The rails take it. Pre-rendered. That's a uh, pretty corny analogy, uh, Cloud, but I get your drift. Spoiler alert. Why does everybody feel the need to jump out? Jump. Jump. I have no clue why they all feel the need to jump out. Oh my god, an even bigger explosion. What the fuck, sirs, says Cloud. Lol. Meet back at the hideout. Move out. Let's just rush on right down to the frickin' uh, place. I don't even want to talk to that guy. Jeez, Barrett. Why, are you, why you gotta be like that? Frickin' shoot at people. That's really nice. out too. Financially, there must have been about a billion gil worth of damage. That explosion would have been in the middle of the night. It would have been one thing. At least people could have gone, gone in their sleep. Well, hey, I believe that is all the time I have for this episode. Watch for my next episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy VII PC with mods. Thanks everybody for watching this episode, and next episode I shall continue from here into the mysterious bar. This is Killer216666, signing out.